I'm going to go over a few different ways you can navigate while you're in the scene view, view your game objects in different ways. Uh, and it's really helpful to have a two button mouse with a wheel. The first way I'm going to use this is actually just to roll the wheel to go in or out, kind of zoom in or out. Um, and then you can also choose hand tool for some movements. I'm going to click on hand in the upper left corner and then I can drag just with the left mouse and the hand um, to, to start to view that in slightly different areas to be able to zoom out and drag um, to rotate the view while you're in hand try holding alt it looks like an eye icon alt or option on mac alt on windows and then i'm going to drag with a mouse and that's rotating around the object so again in hand but holding down alt on windows or option and then dragging with the mouse left mouse button. And then one of the ways you probably can get the most control is to navigate in uh, first person view where you're simulating the player's view as if they're moving through this almost like a first person shooter game. And um, to do this one, you're going to press uh, the right mouse button. So again, it's the right mouse button. And I can drag while I'm in that to uh, rotate. Uh, but it's also going to activate that you can use keys as if you're playing the game. So for a lot of gamers, they're familiar with using W, A, S, and D. Um, and the whole idea is as long as you're pressing the right mouse button, you can work with those keys. So W is moving in. A and D is moving left and right. S is pulling out. And again, this is all happening as long as I'm pressing the right mouse button at the same time. Uh, Q will pull up and E will pull down. And if you haven't used those keys a lot or you're not a gamer already, uh, they might sound arbitrary to say W, A, S, D. But once you see them on your keyboard, they're a little block. It starts to make more sense. Your uh, one hand can manipulate the keys while the other hand is hitting the right mouse button. I'm just going to practice again with W, zoom in, S to move out, A, scoot over in one direction, D the other way. You can use shift along with these keys to move faster, like shift A, shift D is just moving more rapidly. And then again, Q is up, E is pulling down. So again, that's uh, acting as if you're playing the game. So that's one of the best ways to move through your game environment. Um, and then I'll just share one other shortcut. Uh, some like to use the letter F for focus. So the idea here is I'm going to select an object and uh, I happen to switch to move tool by the way instead of hand um, and I'll use move to click on an object and then I hit F for focus and it zooms in to focus on that object. I'll click on the object to the right there and then I'll hit F again. Now it's centered and focusing the view on that object. Then I'll switch to the floor. I'll hit F again. Now it's focused right there. So it's a popular shortcut you can try also to help you navigate in your scene view.